Hi guy. Uh, I wanted to kick off a discussion about um, it's going to be a bit boring sounding, but education and multimedia. Uh, as some of you may or may not know by this point, I actually work in a, in a secondary school. Uh, I'm an IT technician, you know, fixing, repairing PCs, nothing, nothing too uh, over the top. And uh, as part of that job, you know, I get to see uh, like loads of like um, the software that goes on and. You know what they're using the lessons and so on and so forth. I mean, I'm 29 now, but um, in the early 90s, back when I was in school, I mean, I can remember various programs that they would use, uh, created by the likes of Macromedia. Uh, I think they were using Flash back then. Uh, you had things like um, touring uh, like Castle Grounds or uh, a fort or, or, or virtual classrooms, that sort of thing. And then there was a really, really big push back then. But you know, this was the future of uh, of education and uh, multimedia at home and and stuff like that. And then, lastly, just for the example with the, with the macromedia stuff, like one tour of a castle, you know, you, you would it was basically someone had filmed it on on, on a video camera and applied it over to a PC. But you could interact with it in a way by just by clicking a section and getting a load of information. And it was a sort of like a, it's probably what you get nowadays on like an online sort of encyclopedia. Uh, and other programs like that were uh, like the entire the Encarta Encyclopedia, even I mean even the the Britannic, Britannica one. Uh, but yeah, I mean back then it, it was a huge, huge push, and, and this was the way things were going. People, companies like Philips uh, brought out the CDI; they were going down the education route. Uh, Commodore with the CD TV were another, and uh, just some of the that, the gaming books I've been reading recently was it was saying that even Nintendo. But we're starting to lock down that path, uh, and I just find it strange how, how, you know, 15 or so years later, it just seems to have disappeared. Most of the programs I put on at work for for the school system, just very very basic flash ones. Uh, there's no real interactivity be, beyond like uh, clicking a few boxes, getting back to spreadsheets, um, uh, word documents, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and to me, it just seems like a lot of uh, missed potential and I just have to wonder what the hell happened <laughs> you know it's only, I said it was only 15 years ago and uh, even looking at something like the the FMV type games I mean if you did with something like the Wing Commander series where they invested a bit of money in you could see that if they'd have steered that market correctly and, and you know they paid the money and they invested a bit more not, not about like cheap cheap ass actors basically then you know maybe that entire genre could have, have gone somewhere and still be around today instead it's you know it's often derided and stuff but there is good examples I think uh, on the 3DO specifically back in the day I think I did a video of uh, the, the Aldous encounter with Tia Carrera in a couple of months back now well, that was a good example of uh, the gameplay wasn't there, but uh, you know because they bothered getting at least one de decent actress involved, it, it, it turned out to be quite a good thing. And you know they could have done so much more on the education front. Again, the, the whole virtual teacher thing, uh, you know, you, you could have linked videos and so on. I mean, you, I suppose you could say that the internet does that today, but only to some degree because you basically all your internet is basically it's just it's a book with a few pictures on and the odd video now and again but I just yeah so <laughs> bit of an odd discussion to, to kick off I just if, if anyone uh, has experience with, with education they probably understand what I mean but I just you know it, it's 20 years later there was always a big push that multimedia and technology would be a much much bigger part in in education and then all, all I've seen when I, when I left school I think they had one computer room with, uh, with about 20 um, uh, I think they were Acorns with the, with the odd uh, BBC micro knocking around, micro computer knocking around um, nothing fantastic even back then uh, and when I'm working the school today you've got like three or four different computer suites but again they don't really go beyond the basic uh, word processing spreadsheets you know, office, and I just find it strange how, how, how there isn't more to it. You know, we, we are effectively in the future. You know, and and, and where is it all? It's it's like watching Back to the Future too. I mean, where's the hover cars? Where's the hoverboard? You know, that that sort of thing. And so yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough of me rambling on. Uh, I'd be interested to see what people think and you know what they were expecting and, and like, the education was just one sideline to it you know we're in the future now to some degree so
you know, where stuff going. I mean, I suppose on one front, people could never, never have expected the the internet to take off like it did. Uh, probably throughout the 80s when the computer market was growing, I know there was a big push by I think it was EA at the time to try and get a computer in every home because that's where they thought the money was. But it wasn't really until the the internet a, a, appeared pretty much from nowhere, I suppose it was in about probably the early 90s to the mid 90s, and it really took off. I mean, and now today when you've got like broadband and fiber optic and crazy internet speeds, it's, it's actually becoming uh, everybody wants it in the home because it, it's useful. Whereas in the 90s it was all dependent on dial up and it was just too slow to be to be of any use. But yeah, that changing times. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day there, but. As always, thanks for watching, and like I said, if you have any video responses or even comments, just post them in the box below. Uh, and I will do my best to post another video, video soon.